All right, so you know the Alice in Chains song, Rooster? I don't. You know it if you heard it. it. It was an alternative song in the 90s. All right, play it for me. Okay, well, this is not the. This is somebody redoing the song, but you got to tell me who's singing it. So okay. it's a couple of guys from Alice in Chains, and this guy's up here singing it because the, the lead singer from Alice in Chains died, so he, he can't sing no more. So this guy got on stage and started singing, and... Listen to how great this is. It's one of my favorite things of 2021 already. They found a way kill me. So who's that singing? Seems every path leads me to nowhere. Huh. It's Post Malone. What? I wasn't going to guess Post Malone. You were? I was not. No. Wow. (laughs) Now I hear it. Now that I hear that it's Post Malone. Yeah. But how great is this? Whoa, he's good. And this is live. Oh my God, he's really good. Yeah, Chad Smith on drums from the Chili Peppers. I know this song, right. Now it's hitting. Okay, now it's familiar. I thought you were going to tell me it was David Grohl. No, that would have been really good, too. This is amazing. Who knew Post Malone can sing like this? He has a really great rock voice. <laughs> what a talent. Whoa. And this is live. Yeah, see, that's the thing. The fact that it's live is even more impressive because it kind of shows the talent he has because you can't you can't fake it when you're live. And I just love Chad Smith from the Chili Peppers playing drums. Right. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know who Chris Cheney is. Who's the other dude? Dude, Chris- oh, from, oh, from Jane's Addiction, Chris Cheney. Oh. Uh huh. So now Jane's Addiction, Chad Smith, and Post Malone doing Rooster. This is this is great. This is like one of those um, Temple of the Dog kind of bands, you know, put together with like four different bands, like a patchwork band. Uh- Yeah, he, he'll just, right now, he just won every rap battle he's ever going to be in. He's just going to, like, no matter no matter how, like, whatever diss lyric the other person says, all he's got to do is go, Rooster, done. <laughs> Rooster. Where's he been hiding this talent the whole time? Not that his other songs weren't good, but they're not this level of good. This is like, where's he been hiding this? Yeah, I mean, you wish you could clone this guy so he could go out on the road with Alice in Chains and do this. Do you think he was, like, afraid to let people know he's this good because he didn't want to make other people in pop music feel bad? Maybe. Maybe the rock, uh, the rap crowd maybe wouldn't understand this. But he's so famous now, he doesn't even care. Like, The weekend is good, but he couldn't pull this off. No. So I feel like he'd, you know, he'd make the weekend feel bad about himself. But the weekend would probably do a really good job. But Post Malone has just got so many talents when it comes to this singing. This rock voice, like this, this specific rock, this is hard to do. This is hard to do well. Like Justin Bieber's not coming with this. <laughs> no. And he's almost movie uh, running out of space on his face. I know, now he's going to find a place for the word rooster. <laughs> Under his left eye. But yeah, he's, he's almost totally out of space. 
So I think he's going to have to shave his head now and start there, too. And, like, you know, it's funny. Like, you you listen to this, and then you think of, like, White Iverson or Better Now, and you're like, dude, go re-record those. Mm Mm-hmm. Go re-record those and do it like you wanted to do it all along. Like, don't sit there and let a producer... Well, go out and record this and work it to radio. Let radio play this. Radio plays yeah, but I, f- but I feel, I feel like he's been held back all this time because not that I don't... I, I own all of his music and I've downloaded everything and it's all on my playlists and whatever. But I, I want him to re-record his own stuff with that voice. Like, I want that guy, that uh, post Oh, you want that voice guy. Yeah. Yeah, with that rock voice doing yeah. all of his songs. Yeah, doing better now, doing White Iverson, doing um, Wow, like all that stuff. Just, just go, just go re-record it all, <laughs> and really, really do it the way you want to do it. I feel. No, I think you should just go and do alternative bands from the '90s. Do Seven Mary Three. Yes. <laughs> do, do Alice Change. Do Jane's Addiction. Just mm-hmm. go ahead and do everybody's song and just redo it and put it out as Post Malone. Who has that kind of talent anymore? Like, who who can you think of that can do more than one genre as well as he can? I mean, Post Malone, I, I didn't realize what a talent. Like, he could do rap really well. He could do pop. And now he can also do rock mm-hmm. like crazy. There's nobody else like him, I think. Yeah, I don't think there is anybody that's even close to him now. He separated himself from everybody right there. You know, Pink is maybe the closest I can think of where she can handle a lot of different genres well. But, you know, I have to go back to Pink. Like, nobody even current. Yeah, but, I mean, even Post Malone came out with a song with Ozzy last year. So, you know, he is branching out and doing different things and getting his name out to different people. I mean, hell, he's with Doritos. So, it's like, he's doing (laughs) Doritos commercials, and he's Post Malone, and uh, he's running out of space on his face. 